chelas, chingando tacos, having some fun, chicken or chafo, all kinds of masa, Fernie's all nervous, give him a beer, or two, chicken or chafo, Steve's an asshole, just lost some fans, oh well, tough shit. Chicano Chafo Ramón del Guapo He tells good stories Let's interrupt We will Chicano Chafo We love our fan We hope you like this If not, oh well Oh well Welcome back to another episode of Chicano Shuffle. This is Ramon. Stephs. Fernando. And fucking, parece que estamos en el culo del diablo, wey. How hot do you think it is right now? I don't know. It's pretty hot out here, man. Yeah, we're fucking... Fuck, it was, um... Eh, me levanté, I woke up early. En pinche baño, me cambié. And I got my little coffee, and I'm walking out the door. When, um... Cuando de repente, I, I start feeling the heat. I'm like, fuck, I'm like... Maybe I should take my shorts. I should I should wear shorts. But then I'm like, no, I ain't got time, man. Fernie's waiting for me, you know. Well, so me arranqué, güey. And yeah, fucking, ya iba. I started seeing the the temperature gauge on the in el carrito, fucking going higher and higher as I start getting closer to Fernie. I'm like, what the fuck? It's already 80 <laughs> over here, back with Fernie. Shit, bro. 80 something. I'm like, ah, fuck. <clears throat> I couldn't find my wallet this morning, wait, so that made me hotter. Because <laughs> I get fucking frustrated, like, because I I have a, a front carry wallet. It's just, yeah, I, I don't like carrying wallets in the back way. Because fucking, neither. when I say way, I don't know. I feel like the chingle sciatic way. Yeah, no, for real. No, I know yeah, for I, sure. I start to with the front one también. So I just fucking bought one of those uh, human wallets. They're called, and um, it's it's a little sleek way. So it's just a little black fucking. Uh, um, so I lose this shit a lot way because it's small. Because it only. <laughs> I mean, I have my credit card, my uh, all my shit like that way, and and it's not the first time that it happened. Way, so I was leaving the house, and I was like, "Where the fuck's my wallet?" And then, you know, I try to stay calm. You know, okay, uh-huh. focus on what the wallet looks like. Okay, v- vision that. Okay, I'm gonna find it, and I wasn't finding it. And I was like, "Fuck, right? I'm possessed with that way because I was getting fucking frustrated." <laughs> And so, <laughs> so I haven't even left the fucking house and I'm already sweating. Yeah, estás de malas, güey. I'm like, what the fuck is, when's the last time I use it? Cause, and then I check my bank account. Okay, no me la volvieron. Good. And um, and I fucking, where did I find it, güey? Oh, it was in, it was in the car, where It was like fucking. Oh, shit. A random ass fucking place, where. So let me ask you then, because um, at the, when I first changed wallets, because I, I have one of those um, slick ones, I mean, the little ones, right? Mm. And um and it's got the RFID. Protection yeah, this one does too. Yeah, and all that, right? So when I first because I used to have my back wallet when I changed it to the front, when I iba either drive through or whatever, si estaba en el carro siempre la sacaba y la dejaba en el tablero. Yeah, you do that yeah, too? yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah. I had to stop doing that. Yeah, well, they're fucking you forget it in your car and then they break a fucking window. Yeah, yeah. para bajarte la güey. Yeah, y de qué sirve tener RFID, güey? <laughs> yeah, RFID. For those of you that don't know, it, it prevents like um, scanning. These, these wallets they can't scan because the, apparently they have this little device that when you're walking they could just scan. Yeah, the back of your pen and they could get all your info so supposedly this helps I mean I've never tested it but I just I, I went with the fucking hype you know yeah well I've had I've had the the front wallet for the longest time we. I've had it, it the longest my, my whole my whole life I, I, the first time I used the one in the back pocket yeah. was the last time we. ah dude they're so uncomfortable so, he, he, so even this little wallet doesn't have any of that shit but oh God, that's I, cool no, but I think it's like 20 years old, way. Yeah. Oh, oh shit, sure. that a is an old one. That's from back in the a, back in the Visconti days. Damn, no, this is before that. Little really? Fancy. This is <sighs> in my 20s, way, early 20s. You probably spent like 400 bucks on that wallet. No, for regalada, way. <laughs> That's why I know the timeline. Let's say <laughs> some for regalada by someone. Yeah. Someone with better taste than me. Yeah. But the but. Literally, probably I've had this since I was like 21, 22. Wey. You know what? Shit. That's the longest thing because this way si perdia todo, way. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I'm forgetful, way, but I'm. I don't forget like where I lose everything. I, I don't. I very rarely lose my keys. I very rarely lose my wallet. Shit like that. No, no pierdo, way. Yeah, I've lost keys, way, but at a job site. I, I have a good memory for like when he's like what he's saying. All right, what's my wallet look like? And then like, 
I search my memories where I go, oh shit, yeah, yeah, I yeah. left it here. Yeah, I think that that helps for But speaking of keys, where one time I remember I uh, I lost my uh, my mailbox keys for where I used to live. And dude, I was fucking. Yeah, so this is when you know you lost it, but you're like, I'll deal with it tomorrow. Like, oh, I'll deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll deal with it tomorrow. And eventually, fucking shit started getting fucking full. And no se me ocurrió at the time to, to uh, scope out the, the postman and tell him, hey, where you came my shit? Because I don't have my key. I don't know if he would have done it anyways. Maybe yeah. if I prove that I live there. And so fucking. I couldn't, I couldn't find a way. So I, I ended up getting a locksmith, dude. And the fucking locksmith. Fucking figured out, made the key for me and everything. And months later, way, months later, I was fucking, I, uh, I was gonna make myself a, a fucking, um, some kind of alcoholic drink, way, that, that required lemons. So I went into the fucking bag. I was like, oh, shit, maybe I should throw some of this shit out. You know, sometimes I like acumula shit in the fridge. And so fucking, I, I opened this bag with lemons and the keys were in there, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Like months later, my mailbox keys were in the bag with lemons in the fridge. Where like, how the, it was one of those like, how the fuck? But the peaches limones must have been dried know, out. Yeah, no, they're pretty old. And yeah. moldy. Yeah, no, no, they were moldy. But yeah. there were those Monsanto fucking lemons. Oh, yeah, they, they, they last forever. forever. Yeah. But but I was like, how the fuck did the keys get into this fucking lemon bag? Where? Yeah, so let me ask you though, do you guys have like a like a little? Like when I get home, as soon as I get home, I take out my wallet, my my keys, I hang them in the key hanger, my fucking my knife, my sunglasses. Nice. It all, like I leave it like in this little like at the by the this is like a little cubby. Ya lo dejo, and then allá voy ya me cambio y todo, and then pff, fucking end of the morning when I get up, I just go to the little cubby, get my keys and everything. You guys don't have that? No, no. I Not just really. I get home and I'm already. I have to do something already, so it's just a quick, and then I should wait because I mean honestly, that's that's like the 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 responsible way to do things, way. But now I don't have like a designated <laughs> key area. I don't have a designated wallet area. I don't have any of that way. And maybe I should wait. I mean, I'll look into that way. I mean, uh, the best in cuando, you know, I put it on my little on my desk, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. where it's always visible. to in, but for the most part, like I said, I don't have I don't have a problem losing. That, that my everyday shit way Yeah But even be, my fucking grandpa Used to fucking A huevo way I just had the You know the car now Is just a key fob way And a huevo fucking He tried to he Keep trying to sneak A llavero on there way Shit Cause he, you know He's one of those, He's old school way Cause you, you need the llavero To oh yeah, the to make your key A little bigger So yeah, you don't lose it and yeah, shit Yeah huevo yeah, way Every time like I, if, if he saw my fucking key anywhere I va a ponerle el pinche llavero I'm like no no way I don't need a llavero It fits in my little Pocket chingón way and even that little fob way, I lost it maybe in the time I had we had that car, maybe twice, Wayne. Yeah, I think I think one of the reasons that my dad has a little fucking hip back problems is because the the wallet? Wallet? He, he comes from that generation where the fucking <laughs> wallet it's looks a like brick. a torta. <laughs> <laughs> because a, any random business card is, is a phone fucking number where you're like, oh, uh, a ver aquí, uh, buscame el número del Álvaro. And you go through like all these business cards because he would write the numbers in the back of the business cards. That that was like his phone book. Right? That was his Rolodex. Yeah, so fucking wallet queda como pinche torta cubana. And so you carrying that shit. I, I, I still remember like when my mom would wash the clothes way, the, the jeans always had like that mark. The invitation. Yeah, so I'm like, fuck, right? those fucking wallets were massive. Right? Yeah, I, I, I used to have that invitation too. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do as big as wallets. Wait, fuck me. Nah, where is some other... No, like, but yeah, no, fucking, so, las llaves, güey, I, I, I've, I've misplaced them, but lost them, lost them, only once. I've misplaced them, and then later on, like, ya buscándole las encuentro. Mm-hmm. Pero donde ya, I know that they're gone forever, um, it happened once, I was at a job site up in Palisades, and we were in a ditch. Fuck it, so me tuve que acostar just to get a, uh, to be able to get a, like, leverage on a wire that we needed to repair. And it was on a Saturday way. Yeah, I'm witching on bam, bam, bam. Así pasa. And then, um, yeah, we go about. Yeah, you know, los, uh, I think it was the Southern California guys that, that damaged our line. So then they come and they refill the fucking pozo. Y ya nos vamos. Uh, come the end of the day, I'm going. I'm like, fuck, where are my keys at? Where are my keys at? And I thought I locked them in my truck. So uh, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I got my spares at home. And I dije al compa, take me home, Simon. I couldn't fucking find my spares because I'm like, where the fuck are my spares? I couldn't find my keys. My truck was there parked for like two months away. 
Yo por codo también. Yo por codo that I want to get a locksmith. They're expensive. Oh, yeah. I'm like, fuck that, dude. I got spares. I got spares for the, the ignition, the door, and the, the fucking club. It sounds like you already went through them, when. No, no, no. Because, <laughs> I, I, no, it's just like, that's how my dad always was. He always No, had, but I'm saying you couldn't find the spares. So that means no, you were already on the spares. Right? Yeah, no, but I know I had the spares. I never, didn't lose them. And then after like, I was because when you think about it and you're thinking about it, Masa, you, you get further away from where you, you remember, right? Like, the more you think about it, como que se te va, and you're like, all right, I'm not going to think about it. Un día it's going to pop in. Pues un día, güey, I was at home. I think I was watching TV or, or something. And all of a sudden, way, it just, the, 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 the memory just dropped in. Boom. Fuck, my spare keys are at my mom's. I'm like, fuck, just like that. So, ya me fui con mi mom. Sure enough, there were my spare keys, way. Shit. Just lot, like that It's a lot of spare keys though, we fuck. No because I left it At my mom's They should just chip us Already way So we can have everything In our fingertip That's the mark of the beast Cabrón Let me it's pay right, for wait. this uh, Let me open my car With my, th- with my pinky a, f- a few months <laughs> from now You can get the vaccine And get chipped yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that the, apparently that the yeah theory? Because they're saying this day, What's his name El de Microsoft Bill Gates Bill Wants Gates. to microchip you in. Wants to microchip you And apparently Bill Gates Is a pedophile oh, Because he hung out With uh, Jeffrey Epstein wait, What's it with that Whole Tom Hanks thing Where I've been hearing uh, oh, Wait They dragging Tom Hanks Into this Yeah Yeah he, he fucking Bounced out of the country Or some shit Apparently Because he's uh, I guess he went to A, a country that you can't get extradited for Yeah Like some what? crazy Yeah they yeah. Even, They were uh, Fuck I, I, I feel like I should have read this Because I brought it up way, But <laughs> there was something With Tom Hanks way That I was like What the Welcome fuck Welcome to my world Are you serious <laughs> <laughs> You see this on Instagram way? Sometimes No I, I have my uh, My sources My chick She's the one <laughs> <laughs> Yeah apparently that Something that has to do With the Epstein case Yeah También supposedly Ellen DeGeneres or something. Oh yeah But Ellen DeGeneres Like por, por culera In the show I think I don't know, wait, it's fucking Something weird. with her. I, and I don't even bother. I'm like, I don't care about Ellen DeGeneres. I'm like, eh. She might, be, no sé, siempre se me hizo a little bit es que es unauthentic. Yeah, like fake. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to use fake. I just want to use a bigger word. Unauthentic. Ay, wey. No te salió muy bien. Pero no, pinche estaba like, ¿Dónde quieres? Bájate, pinche indio. Yeah, wait, just say fake, wait. Look, chunts. Look, chunts. You don't have to say she didn't seem not that. Unauthentic or uh, un- Untrustworthy <laughs> uh, Unauthentic Untrustworthy This way Yeah Cause she used to Treat the stuff like shit But then Con la vez en, la, la vez en, la, en el programa Whatever Like she's like The funniest And the greatest But uh, She was always in a, in a, You know I'm sure a lot of people Are like that yeah. way Yeah Especially those people That are successful And and are up their way I'm, I'm sure they, they feel like People under them Are the people that You know Work for them And shit I mean that sucks To be in that environment way. You know who's not like that Keanu Reeves Exactly <laughs> Damn way You don't have to Exactly You don't have to yell it bro uh, I get excited bro <laughs> Yeah pinche no, no, no. ese, ese Keanu Reeves Es un santo Con patas bro. Well dicen que también le, le, Like Conan They say is, is fucking Conan O'Brien That he's pretty much Así como lo ves así He's cool hey, I could see that from yeah, him He's a, he's a, he's could, a nice dude He's a nice dude I could take it But si le caes He's gonna fucking Pick on you yeah, yeah, directas, yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, not, not indirectas. No, directamente, <laughs> pero con indirect. I don't know, it's weird. That's what I'm saying, but the way kind of you see him, maybe not exactly see, because he's still got to do business, no? Mm-hmm. Pero de, porque Alan, el pedo, Alan, yeah, they, 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 like forward facing, she was the nicest person, pues, ya ves on her show, and it's to the point that it, como dices tú, que it looked like forzado, way. Yeah. And then, like, behind the scenes, she was just fucking a, a terror to all her, like, employees. Yeah. Shit. Like, she was sending people home for, like, fucking crazy shit. With That's Some crazy. stuff that you're like, mm, all right. Like, like the dude has bad breath or something. Lo mandó al cantón. And you're like, hmm, I guess, way. Or apesta, ahí vete a bañar, way. Shit. You're like, mm, maybe that one's... Touche. You know? yeah, I mean, but there was a bunch of shit where okay, yeah, she was fucking maybe like, terrorizing. Yeah. La, el otro, una vez I had, a, uh, I had to go to this place and then there's some dude that was a writer for Comedy Central. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it was Comedy Central. Whatever. But, uh, so, yeah, because I saw it, like he had all his awards or whatever up there. I'm like, hey, um, so who do you write for? He's like, oh, I've written for this show, this show. Like, oh, yeah, you're working on anybody? Yeah, I'm working at the Tosh.0. Oh, and shit. I'm all like, hey, so... By the looks of it, like I see his show and everything, I'm like, he's a dick, huh? No, so I kill me. like, yeah, that guy's pretty. He's he's, he's special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, cause you could tell he's a dick. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but that but better know that that you know, like mm-hmm. that you know he's a dick than que te hagas 
Like everybody sees you one way And then you have to work For that person And be like Yeah cause he's not Fucking uh, He's not He doesn't have a show Like Ellen I mean he's a dick On the show yeah. So I mean It's not like he has a fucking Oh let's help people And then nah. he's a dick No he talks shit That's his job To talk shit and everything But I don't Is know Is that, that still around Tosh Porno I don't know No sailing Ya no tengo Ya no tengo cable Or, or direct TV Um all I do is just watch stream shit. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching that uh, the la- the the last narc. Oh shit! Uh, you know, más me como like thirty minutes. Like I, I don't even watch the whole thing. I just watch like thirty minutes. Dude, like how, at how night. How is it? How do you think, dude? It's some shit. Huh? No, mames. I'm a. I just finished the, the third episode and I'm about to start the. Uh, oh, I started the fourth, but I'm like I, I turned it off. I'm like yeah because you know. I'm like I'm just doing little thirty minutes. I don't want to sit down and watch the whole thing. You yeah, know? dude, that 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 DEA agent, I said, wait, that guy, wrong way. Yeah, that dude that talks in yeah, that shit. Yeah, it's like a Bobby. No, not Bobby. Um, yeah. Bele. Oh fuck, Bele Beleves. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, because he's a he's a Chicano, but he speaks the the language. Yeah, he, like, but he speaks it like like he he knows how to communicate on. Con los pinches los paisas, los mexicanos. Yeah, he knows yeah. he knows that lingo. Yeah, and and sometimes like uh, as a Chicano way, sometimes when you try to talk to like like people in Spanish, they can tell because some of the stuff that you use is yeah. like it, 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 like it's it's different. But when this guy talks, is you, you're like, damn, this guy. I can see why he convinced a lot of people when he was oh, like, doing yeah. undercover and shit. Yeah, because some of his stories were like, holy shit, man. That was like pretty interesting. Like, you got to walk in there and you got to like, you know, you got to be a badass. Yeah. You know, you can't fucking, you got to be, make sure you're the boss right there. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. And then he was telling, I think there's a story he's telling, he was doing a bust and that fucking, and they're like, well, trae el dinero. I'm like, no, nope, let's take the, the, oh, the merch yeah, to yeah, the yeah, car. Yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. trae el dinero. No. Yeah, yeah. So. Finally, he's like, well, fuck you, dude. I'm just going to walk out. I don't, you know, I'm I'm doing you the favor type of deal. Yeah. And they're like, all right, all right, let's go. So they're walking out and after the feds come in. He was so convincing to the point where like the, the, the pinche los, los narcos, güey. They're like, córrele, ya nos cayó la jura. They're like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. And then not only that, well, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a scene where like, shit, even to the homeboy's last moment, he's like, Tony, ya nos chingaron. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like, where's the sun? Where no, on Amazon. On Amazon Prime. Amazon well, Prime. It's, it's the story of uh, Kiki Camarena. Yeah, right? but yeah. dude, there's some fucking... Like when you watch Narcos, they have some of the stuff in there, but nah, they they left a lot out on the on the TV yeah, show. No, which, so of course. Right away, Ramon, surprise, surprise. No, 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 no. But dude, uh, I think I was at the part of um, uh, El Cubano. Oh shit! Yeah, I, I got uh, that's where it ended. I'm like, holy shit! No mames. But yeah, yeah wait. It's in the show. It's the yeah, you should watch it, bro. It's a good one. Yeah, and it goes back to I think something we were talking about, like when you know. Fucking, it gets to, I guess um, these narcos got to the point where they felt they were untouchable. Well, they had the politicians in their pockets. Yeah. Right? And that's the thing, though. Like, the, even though you, you, I mean, even though you might be untouchable, you always have to, like, fucking keep your cool, I think. But see, the thing is that I heard from, like, other, like, cartel members that I've seen in, like, documentaries and shit is, yeah, you, the cartel has a lot of fucking power, right? but to the Mexican government, you're still a paisa. You're still from fucking Sinaloa. Oh, yeah, you're it's still, India. You're still it's a fucking chill. India way. You're still this and that. And so, I mean, they used to send coke to the president of Mexico every oh, fucking yeah. month, dude. He had his little package. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Ah, oh, dude, there's so much corruption way. I mean, I mean, you heard of all the shit with the Contras back in the 80s. No, yeah. I ran Contra, yeah. So the U.S., I mean, I, I don't know if I could say accused anymore because, I mean, basically it's been, it's out. been out. Like the U.S., is responsible for a lot of the crack that was being sold with Freeway Rick Ross in the streets of LA. That shit was provided by the fucking government, dude, the CIA. The CIA. Now, can you say the government? Because the CIA seems to be its own identity. It's, it's a little branch, yeah. yeah it I does mean, its that's own a good thing. point. But they they operate under the government's umbrella way. Yeah. So you would think that, you know, they, they would they wouldn't do something like that, but I, I talked to a guy when, when I was in the studio way, there was a, a dude's fucking mom and dad way. He was doing a documentary about their life and he wanted us to do like the music on there. And this dude's a old school fucking veterano from, from Boyle Heights, went into the military, came back, joined the police department 
and became an undercover agent. Right? So I, I got a little bit of a story away from the 80s. And he was telling me that in those days in the academy way, they would teach you how to take a hit, but not really take a hit. Like there was an art to it. So you would sometimes he said he would have to be fucking dragged into the station because he was high because you in those days you were doing some of these fucking drugs, dude. When you were on an undercover buy or whatever, yeah. you were actually participating because you didn't want any pedos. But what this guy told me, way, and it all comes back to the Contras and the CIA bringing crack into the streets of, of the states uh, to fund the Contras back in uh, Nicaragua. But what this guy was saying is that when he would bust people as an undercover agent, they would be freed like in a day or two. And he was like, what the fuck? And then they're like, oh, we can't talk about it. And so he started finding government paperwork in some of these drug houses where 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 they had they had uh documentation that that had like cia or whatever the fuck but he was like why why is this this information here like and he started exposing that some of these people that he was busting were cia agents and cia agents were working with freeway rick ross to fucking sell drugs and make money to send back to the fucking... Who, who's this Rick Ross? He was, he, he was uh, dude, he was one of the biggest fucking coke dealers, I would say, in the country, but definitely in L.A. Freeway? Freeway Rick Ross. Oh. Yeah, he was this black dude. He's still alive. And he was the guy that the CIA was selling drugs to, and then he would send them into the hood. And they get their cut? Yeah, they get their cut, way. That makes sense, way. I mean, and it was all because at, I look at tengo entendido. Sorry, um, the government has shut down that that that. Um, I know that the government at the time, which when it was Reagan, yeah. they wanted to help the guerrillas against the government, the Nicaraguan government, because they were communists, right? Yeah. So what the United States was trying to prevent from communism coming on the shores of Nicaragua, being in the south, uh, the Central America. Portion yeah, because they were backed by Cuba and Russia. So obviously, yeah. the U.S. is going to have a hard on for that. So apparently what happened was that the, gov- uh, the, the president or government or whatever you want to say uh, said, we're not going to fund the countries anymore. The CIA was so involved in that operation that they figured we have to fund these guys with weapons and shit. So the CIA took it upon themselves to start slanging fucking drugs with to make money to, to send to the contras to give them weapons that, that, that's, that's been always their go-to way because be fucking it was, it was the dad it was coke before it, I mean they've, they've always seemed like they're always in the drug business this cabron is one. but what happened uh, Fernando is that they were training the contras and they, so where the, the hub where the weapons were being traded and the drugs were being traded was at Caro Quintero's ranch in Veracruz. That's where they were training the, the operatives, the, the, the contra operatives. It's, but listen to what we're saying, Wade. Yeah. This is the CIA yeah. training at, at Caro Quintero's ranch in Veracruz. Yeah. I mean, uh, if that's not fucking like Jesus fucking Christ, dude, I don't know what is, Wade. Like, to me, when I when I saw that, I was like, oh, what the fuck, dude? It kind of puts everything in perspective, Wade. I mean... And it makes sense now why... Um, so, have you guys seen Narcos, uh, the, 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 the series, and then have you seen, um, what you might call it, if, if, like, you grew up around the time where this was happening or blowing up and, and everything, the, there was a special hatred from Caro Quintero to Kiki Camarena. Yeah. You know? And it had to do with, because Kiki busted uh, Caro's uh, Buffalo Ranch, donde tenía toda la pinche hierba, güey. Mm-hmm. You know, like, it was, it was like a, a, a modern marvel, because he was growing fucking weed in the desert. It was ahead of his time. Sin semilla, too. Sin semilla, mm-hmm. That's what they call it, sin semilla. You know? So, it was like, he was, this guy was a fucking... Look, that, that part came out a little bit in the Narcos yeah. show. Yeah, it did, yeah. 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 So then, so he's pissed off, because este pinche Kiki Camarena and this pilot, Salazar, I think it was... Fucking took the pictures when supposedly there was a no-fly zone because the government put it, but it's this way it's did it. They got the proof and they shut it down. So fucking Caro Quintero was like fucking livid because he's like, I paid my dues. I gave you guys your payment. I sent you, you guys your shit, your weed and your coke and everything. You still shut me down. So that's why they ended up kidnapping and killing El Kiki Camarena. But it was personal from Caro Quintero towards Kiki mm-hmm. and shit. So... Now and now it makes sense when he's saying. Spoiler I, alert! No, 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 because no, <laughs> no this is, it's history. I know it's I'm history. Saying. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, this, this is like a seven, eight episodes. I mean, you're you're not. We're not spoiling anything. Talking no, about I'm this. I'm just there's, joking. There's, there's, there's so <laughs> much details that's like. Oh yeah, oh. no, I can't get into all the details, but that's why Este Caro Quintero was pissed off because now I get it. 
Because he was the CIA was using his ranch, so it's the so in, in Carlos Quintero's eyes, he's he's paid off the, the 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 government, the United States government, and for the DEA to bust him and do all that is like what kind of fucking backhanded sli- shit is this? But we we gotta consider también. I mean, CIA was in the sixties. They started the CIA in the sixties, fifties or sixties. No, it was before that. But I'm saying in the sixties, también is when they're doing. The I thought coke. it was the sixties. They're right? doing mota. They're doing coke. No, they've always is, been like in the drug I business. I think they started after World War World War Two. No, let me see. But like around the fifties, like it was during the the the. the but what the I'm saying is, is Korean War. It, it's not surprising because these dudes have always been in the drug business. Way, yeah. They always they always go, wow, they're gonna sell it anyways. We might as well take our cut way. It, it, I mean, you look how many movies 47. have been made. You you look even how, how many movies have been made of a uh, supposedly this guy. He said, "Como like there's the Tom Cruise one. There's Blow." All these vatos Blow también No tenía yeah. That do work for the CIA mm-hmm. The Tom Cruise one Where he supposedly Worked for the CIA Yeah they've, they've always Had a Which hard Tom on for Cruise drugs Which Tom Cruise movie There's a Tom Cruise one Where he también He flies back and forth Oh with, yeah 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 yeah. And then that he Fucking They, they, they have a long history With fucking being Drug dealers with. But in the 80s um, You know the CIA had 40 years of history, 40 years of rapport. The DA was a new cat in town. Nobody yeah. really respected them. Mm-mm. The CIA was like a fucking security cop, a security cop compared to the CIA. So they were looked at as, who the fuck are these guys? And then they obviously wanted to recruit Chicanos, right? Because they wanted people to speak Spanish, but also be able to communicate back to headquarters. And um, I, I feel like these guys just got thrown in with the wolves, way. Fuck, dude. Yeah, because uh, you guys got to check it out. This last narc, it's it's only four episodes. Oh, is it four? Yeah, it's That's four. It? Yeah, it's four. But oh, they're shit. like an hour, an hour long. No, but you like it, dude. It's like fucking chingo. It, it gets you. There's look, I'm getting fucking goosebumps just thinking about it. It's it's, oh, sure. it's yeah. yeah. What, 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 why? I don't why are you getting no, goosebumps? Man? It's it's just the way this guy, the the last narc, the the main guy, tells the story, and not only that, but the way he's telling it. Like, there's a scene where they go to uh, what was it? Ellie? Like reenactments type of deal? Or yeah. The, yeah no. no, they don't reenact. No. no. They don't reenact. He's just, he's just telling narrating? the story. Yeah. But so actually, they do show like, um, like where the, they do have some little reenactment. Do they? I don't yeah. remember. Because when they go to the Limoncito where they're supposedly they get ambushed with the AKs. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're so right. it's more like documentary style. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's doc- a docuseries. Yeah. Docuseries. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So fuck it, dude. That one. But the funny thing is that even the, the oh, I forget his name, but... Bellelises or whatever it is, the main guy telling the story. Like his mom was a fucking oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a tarot, t- t- tarot tarot reader. Oh, tarot card reader. So when he, when he accepts the job in Mexico, and she she reads them, and then she starts telling him, "You got to be careful. You're gonna be in the field surrounded by this. A lot of blood. A lot of blood." And when he's talking about fucking when he was driving down, he's like, "Oh, he could start. Oh, he was thinking it was his mom' premonition, you know." His mom premonition and shit, and sure enough, it, that he tells his guys, "Hey, make sure you got your vest on, get your shit ready because it's gonna." And as soon as he does that, says that, pa 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 pa, se agarran los pinches balazos, güey, con los cuernos de chivo se los chingaron, güey. Oh, but it was it was pretty. It's a pretty good intense story, dude. Yeah, yeah, you definitely check it out if you yeah. guys have a chance. That's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. But um, I know. Check it out. We're gonna send a, we're gonna send Amazon the invoice. So I think you'll like it, bro. When you guys rate it, just say that you heard it on Chicano Shuffle. That <laughs> way, you know, we get the credit. So, so when I was watching that documentary, I mean, obviously the the Contra stuff and the 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 crack and all that shit. I had I had known that before, but kind of made me realize, dude, like what's going on right now that we're gonna find oh, out. Oh, fucking. Wow. In, in 20 years, 10 years, or whatever, dude. I mean... Pues ya, ya ves, estos güeyes también se pasaron with the, with the Fast and Furious shit, güey. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't drugs, but it was otra pinche tranza de... de oh, the, the, the convoy, the, the trucks, no? The, the armas, güey. Yeah, but they were in trucks, right? I don't remember cómo estuvo exactamente. Big containers, güey. The last narc, dude. Pretty fucking good show. I mean, thank you for the, the fucking recommendation. You just ask you don't have pendejadas, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, I don't waste my time with pendejadas, he says. I'm not, I like those uh, drug, all that shit. It has to do with drugs and, and all but that. But at what point do you, like, uh, like um, it took me about a month. No, not even a month. Yeah, about a month to finish watching. I started watching this thing called Warrior Nun on Netflix. Warrior um, Nun? Yeah, I'm like, I Like know. Monha? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know why. It, it recommended it. And una noche, it was... <laughs> He's a busy vato. No, no, no. Yeah, this is I, th- no, but I only do like half an I'm hour. Ask him how the woodworking's going, but he's gonna get upset. 
<laughs> I can't work, work at night, bro. You can't fucking be cutting shit up at night. Hint mm, people are sleeping. Yeah, that's like some, a daytime shit. These oh. LED lights are pretty bright. I mean, YouTube's pretty resourceful for learning shit when you can't make noise. No, I got no problem learning it. You know? Uh, <laughs> never see what mind. you started with? Never mind. Hey, speaking of Netflix, have you guys seen uh, that, that documentary about the, the ICE immigrant nation it's called? Oh, I started oh, watching shit. it, but it's it's... It's a little hard. It's hard watching. Yeah, it's a tough one, dude. It's I, a tough I finished, one to watch. I finished it and um, fuck, dude, that one's. That's why I switched to the nar- the last narc because that one was a little. I, I'm, I'm like two episodes in, and it's hard. I was just surprised that that the uh, that they gain, gained so much access in 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 the ice department. I mean, as far as like filming. I mean, are they that ignorant way, or they don't give a fuck like to think? Oh. They give a fuck with because they were filming them. Talking, yeah, pretty like, like fucking uh, rough, like desensitized, like oh shit, uh, looking at them like numbers, like high fiving each other, doing like, little games, oh shit, like doing uh all these little fucking like how many you got? Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, oh, don't take me, like do mocking you know, them, yeah, like do you know we have to like fill this tank up and look. It, uh, we left at so uh, what time? And like we already came back with our fucking collaterals. Like, oh, oh no, 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 no! Where's your warrant? Or whatever. They're, they're they're mocking them. Like, Wait, oh, do you have a warrant? Like, and it's like, dick. Are you fucking? Are you guys that stupid? The, but the the I mean the truth is, cause he's he was he's on. I mean the the cops and the and the fucking I haven't seen it though, but they recommended it. But yeah, see that you. We've talked about a way when you're not highly long enough way, you develop these. Uh, yeah, you, you're the synthesizer. You, you, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's happened man. with us. I mean, like, oh, I need my phone. And I'm like, ah, yeah, relax. Yeah. And I'm like, no, but you know, it's true. Sometimes you have to. If I was getting recorded, trust but yeah, me. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're, get, you're getting recorded. You know, you're getting recorded. This yeah, is this isn't this isn't is yeah. hidden cams where this is literally yeah. you're following them and and even like that they're acting like that on camera. I mean, <laughs> there's one there's one there's one scene. Where like uh, the the one of the agents is driving and he has a camera crew with them, right? And his boss reaches out to him in the fucking walkie-talkie. He's like, "Hey, you gotta bring in at least two extra collaterals. I don't care what you have to do or how do you have to do. It. Just bring them in." And the guys are like, "All right." And then he's like, "He does know you guys are with me, right? He he, he is aware, right? He 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 was there when you guys came with me, right?" And the and the camera crews are like, "Yeah, I'm like okay." <laughs> but he also on camera he's like I'm not doing that shit yeah he doesn't do that he's not like I, I'm there for the guy that I have the warrant for the one I'm looking for if there's other people there I'll just I just I'll make sure that another of them have warrants so, so, so the half is telling me yeah. we need you to bring it oh, dude, it's all on camera like it's everything's on camera and then you obviously get the other that's why I, I really enjoy that documentary not as far as like oh it's entertaining it just made me realize a lot of things that obviously I wasn't aware of but just the two perspectives, how they filmed it, and the way that it was produced, was, is, is really it's a really good documentary, dude. Shit. So, like, so everything we've kind of been saying, it turns out is like straight, like true, and, and, and then but straight, all and, shit. and then straight out the vid, the the documentary is filming them talking all this shit, and then it's filming them uh, prepping to talk shit and and lie in the press conference like the guy that was doing the PR the skinny dude yeah oh, shit. He, he was literally saying well let's just tell him this let's just tell him that I mean uh, this is a back end shit that you're seeing in the documentary and then you see how he's telling the public and how it's a different persona where oh shit yeah, yes, a, like, on the camera crew everything they didn't give up that's what I'm saying where you're like how do you like are you that stupid like I, I, they just I, don't give a fuck then when... yeah they, they, they're untouchable they feel untouchable it, it's a uh, dude it's, it's a uh, narco mentality I'm untouchable I mean well, my, my chick my chick cried like two times where, like during the whole fucking thing I, I had to stop it there was one where like I just couldn't I'm like I had to pause it I'm like fuck because it was it was too real like especially when the you know when the the, the guys are talking about their kids, como se los quitaron, los separaron. And one of them was describing their kid to, like, you know, the, the hair, how he looks and how he is. And he has his mother's this and he has my this and everything. They're like, and his voice is cracking. I'm like, fuck, I had a pause. And I'm like, shit. This is like, I mean, yeah, it was, it, it hits you hard, bro. Well, it, those, those are the. You know. cabrón is way. Yeah, I've heard, but I haven't. Have, I haven't got to wait. Pero. And then the did you get to the Winterfell? That the whole you haven't got there yet. No, I think I'm in two or three episodes in. Dude, it starts. It starts getting crazy when they start talking about the the guys at Home Depot that don't get paid and all that shit. Like, there's this 
there's this dude that's like um, he has an important seat in in Florida, and he has a construction company called Winterfell, and he's all about fucking Trump this and that, and he hires undocumented workers to work on the, renovating homes that he buys to flip, and he doesn't fucking pay them, dude. Oh shit! Like he doesn't pay them. Like they, what are you gonna do? Like these guys, uh, so they're they're interviewing them. Like I've been working for him for five months and I haven't gotten paid, and and they show text messages of them talking to these dudes like I'm not gonna pay you kind of shit, and this fucking guy has paid them with with ba- the checks that bounce way. Like that's fucking illegal. He's trumping them, dude. It's it's crazy, bro. <laughs> it, it's uh, I mean. I don't know, man. It's 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 a crazy documentary. Yeah, it's a way. No, it's it's a hard watch, but I, I'll finish it. I just got. I can't. How do many it episodes? Is, uh, is it? Uh, ocho? It's kind of long, bro. Ocho or diez. But it's one of those where you once you're in it, where you're gonna a, a, be prepared to be upset when you fucking finish watching, dude. I'm already upset. We haven't even seen it. Way. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a it's a tough watch, way. Yeah, no, this is the. This is Sista Cabrona, the Immigration Nation, and I was watching it. Um, a veces because uh, están, la, you know, están, estamos todos en la sala. So then uh, at one point, well, I think the kid left, and my girl was like kind of not enough, but I'm like, well, let me put this while, you know, while she like takes her nap. And oh, fuck, I got hooked on that shit. I'm like, fuck. But the first one, I watched it straight through. Uh, but I, I, like you said, it's like just after that episode, you're just like, your spirit is broken, kind of. You know, like, te sientes gacho, te sientes que culeros. I'm like, fuck these putos and shit. You know, and then you're hearing, like, and then I started remembering. Remember that that, that one um, picture that was taken or the, uh, that, the, the, the dad with his daughter or his kid on the river? Que, que, que lo under, the, under the shirt? Yeah, no, yeah, que fucking los agarran at the edge of the river. I think it was in Texas. Mm-hmm. And everything, and they, I don't think they bring that up, but they do. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's pictures. The, that picture is. On yeah, the- that one is like. Oh, I haven't even gotten to it, but I, as soon as I finished the first episode, that came to mind. I'm like, fucking a, look, you ask them because they're talking about how they bring their family over, but they want to give them a better life and everything. And it's just like, and I'm not gonna lie. Back in the days, probably like maybe unos que hace 20 años, I would say, pues si está cabrón, pues para qué se vienen, you know. But then, no, 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 I'm saying this is <laughs> back in the days that I can understand why some some people have a certain mentality because maybe they haven't reached, they haven't seen enough, or they haven't lived life or experienced other 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 communities or other um, people around them that they're not, you know, no less, no less, no less, no less. Um, well, it, it doesn't affect them personally. It was because they have the the I don't want to take privilege way, but you're used to you live here, pues, and you think you go to other countries. And yeah, you're a little, you have less, a little bit less money. You don't make as much, but life must be similar, no? Mm-hmm. So like, it's still fucked up, but how bad could it be? Because they have a mentality that key way, and all you know is, I went to Cancun once, you know? Mm-hmm. Cancun looked pretty fucking, everybody looked pretty happy in Chingon. But they don't realize that, yeah, there's lower levels, way. like mm-hmm. the, there's poor and then there's poor, way. like there's, there's American poor and then there's fucking... Third world country, poor way. But you, you also, in, in that time when you thought about that, you were also seeing them from your eyes, right? Like, how can they do that? But if you're faced with a situation like a lot of these p- fucking people are, dude, like, you're going to do whatever it takes to, to, to try, to, family, right? try to give a better future to your family. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what? The part of it, part of it is a lack of information where you, you don't, you don't, I don't think, I don't think you really realize how, like, it's it's basically a super long shot way because wait till you get to El Paso way because in El Paso está raza way Chicanos ICE agents and when you see these guys talk oh, yeah. you're gonna be like ah oh, shit dude. You, it's cringing way it's like Ugh. <laughs> and then they they throw a lot of well do it the right way you, you know uh, when they when they send them back in the border hey guys have a good day you know do it the right way just do it the right way and then they're like what is the right way like. They're, they're telling them to do it the right way while there's a line of asylum seekers right next to them and that's the right way like it, 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 you're not gonna win right there dude it's like it, it's something that they use as an escape goal do it the right way but the right way doesn't really exist it exists on paper but it doesn't really exist well isn't there one time where like uh, there was a Salvadorian um police officer oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, they had his family and he was he was doing it the right way he was i mean he did come in illegally but then he was trying to 
make amends. He's paying his taxes. He had his business, you know. And um, el plomero, no? Uh -huh, el plomero. Yeah. And he was he had a lawyer. I think the lawyer did him shady. I think or the, oh the, yeah, no le puso the los he paid him and he didn't file anything. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So fucking al, so al final, fucking so you know. And he told him, look, I'm I'm asking for asylum because I used to be a police officer and. You know, um, and there's a target there, on my back. Yeah, yeah, there's a target on my back. Well, too. in my in my life way, I've have two or three fucking examples already where where the right way they were like a tengo el primo mm -hmm. that we had the whole thing in Texas way where fucking I mean fucking cops, well, not cops, the fucking agents, the border agents way were fucking talking shit like like I'm sitting right here way. And they're pretty much talking shit about me. And I'm like, I'm like right here, wait. Like, I'm within earshot. They're talking shit. Pero out of that whole thing, por decir, out of that one, my, my fucking cousin got like a, I don't want to say it's a sentence, but they go, you can apply for, for your, because he, he was here on a student, on a student uh, visa. visa. He goes, you can apply for a visa or even like citizenship, whatever. Pero you can't, you, in five years, right? In five years, you, you can apply again for, for whatever. Cuando llegaron los five years and he wanted to come back to finish what he was doing here, his student shit, they kept denying his shit way because of that. And you go, well, what was the five years ago? Six years, same thing. Seven years, same thing. Thinking even with like my dad, I mean, they got something similar. Dick, 20 years later, they're still using that way. Okay, wow. So this happened fucking 20 years ago. And my dad's like, yeah. And they said the same thing. In five years, I'm clear to, to, to apply again. So the, this do it the right way. It's puro pinche, it's, it's, it's BS way. It doesn't, they tell you this, but that path is never clear. And then any little thing you did wrong, like you're saying, like that's what they threw back, they'll use that against them when they apply again anyway. So aquí dice que, te, que you jumped the border, homie. Dude, they don't even have a list way. Like the people run the list and it's like a janky ass fucking notebook that, that that's where you place your name and then this is where you fall under the list. And... Uh, a country like the United States way, I mean, obviously they don't care because they're not putting their resources on that, but you don't have like a list way. You you have these people in Tijuana fucking running around putting people on the list as far as like oh, where you the, get their turn. For the asylum. And so it's like a fucking, it's a, this thing looks like it's fucking on its last legs way, the, this notepad. And that's the only thing that you, like, I don't know, I don't understand where, I mean, I do understand, but what I'm saying is like, it's crazy, bro. Like it, and then the the fucking the we talked about this before, but the servicemen that get deported, dude. Like, well, they come out right there too. They come out right there. Was there was a marine, no? No, there's a bunch of. We the talked about it. Way yeah, they have a little clubhouse and everything. Tijuana way. Then we talked about don't that way. It gets into everything, bro. Like it gets into like every single perspective from it, and and. And like I said, wait, once you once you get into the El Paso one, I mean, and you see the the, the, the brown eyes guys. Yeah, I was Jeez, I was getting man. already pissed off when they were in New York and uh, what is it, twenty six Plaza? Oh uh, yeah, that's and, a and there's a in there's there. a Dominican. Oh, uh, I say wait. It's hijo de su puta madre. He's like, oh, I have family deported, you know, and everything. But hey, this is what I, you know, this, this is my is job. Yeah, and he's. But I saw that the military ones. I mean, it doesn't. No, it doesn't doesn't tear me como decimos the families eso, pero. Mm -hmm. But si se me hace que está más cabrón, no? Someone that that signed up and went to defend the, the country apparently is not good enough for the country way. They they're only allowed in when they die way. That's fucking bullshit way. Seriously? Yeah, because they're, 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 yeah, they're servicemen. So that's the only the only way they're allowed here is dead, dude. So they, but I'm saying you didn't prove yourself enough by signing up and going to fucking. To serve your time, way no mames, way. That, now, is this is this um is this always been the the practice, and then just people or whoever's in charge at the time, um you know just lets it go aside and gives it to them, or or is this, or is it now with the pinche trompas? No, they they've been yes. deported for years, dude. Yeah, those guys have been there. For they get caught up for a broken tail light or some shit like that, and and then. So wait a minute. When they sign up, don't they fucking check your your your, your status? Yeah, when you sign up, boy, there's a lot of transas too, way. Because he's talked about it and I've talked about how we were almost we almost signed up. Uh -huh. yeah. And part of me fucking part of my my change of heart, besides the fact that I was like, wow, that's good way. I I'm really not good at a at a like like fucking falling in line, I guess. Yeah, taking orders. <laughs> yeah. So, pero <laughs> pero I had mornings para despertar este güey. You're all anarchy, huh, bro? But I already I already had a uh, <laughs> down with the system. <laughs> I already had at least a couple or maybe Arica, more people. Arica. Arica. 
When do we throw grenades? <laughs> when do we throw grenades? <laughs> so, all right, back to your no, system. No, pero the, there had already been a couple people or maybe a few others that had told me away, like, that, you know, they go, oh, yeah, you qualify for this and this jale, and you think you're going to go in and you gotta, you're going to get a good little jale, way. Mm. They go, it's not what you're going to get, homie. Ya me habían dicho. Mm. Whatever they tell you, way, they're going to put you where they need you. Yep. So, like, if they say, hey, way, yeah, way, we can get you into fucking flight school, way. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, way, if they need a janitor, you're going to be a fucking janitor. And uh, and that fucking, that's what got me thinking, and that's what got me on the trail. Like, uh, I don't a really ke- chemical specialist, way. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a janitor. <laughs> on paper, it sounds fucking, yeah, oh, because shit, you're mom, mixing I'm going gonna, gonna to be a chemical fucking specialist, specialist mom. <laughs> oh, que bien, mijo. Uh, yeah, fuck it. You're like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no se combina el fabuloso y el pine sock. No se combina, <laughs> ma, porque. It doesn't work. <laughs> y, uta madre. <laughs> Cree que va a voler bonito, pero nel. Uh, okay. Fucking se deshace el piso, güey. Se despega. <laughs> el pinche trapeador se deshace. <laughs> se esfuma la chingadera. Yeah. So, like, at signing up, they, they probably told him, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get you your papeles with, as soon as you don't. Probably, your time, yeah, yeah. And then after you're, you're done, you're done with. Ask for it in writing. You see how we those. treat them when they're fucking. Nah, done, that's right? not gonna work. Right? Even in writing. I need it in writing. That's not gonna do anything. It's got Ramon Yves, way. No way. These guys just I'm gonna swear, and then they end up in Tijuana, and, and it's it's that way. It gets into that too. They follow this dude that that lives in Vegas. Hey, maybe that should be. Hey, maybe like we're not script writers, but how about we make a movie way? Uh, donde fucking this is the the fucking the servicemen there in Tijuana way because they were trained by the government they go against them now they got the same training way they do they're Desde in the Tijuana cartels that's all they oh, have oh fuck all right never mind <laughs> even even there's there's <laughs> yeah a lot of those hitmen way they yeah. they fucking they're 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 trained by the U S yeah that's what I was gonna say there's a lot of dudes over there oh that 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 the U S trained in the U in the Mexican military. They finish the training. They want to work for the guys. They follow the money, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Now they, the now they know government. how to defend themselves against, you know, against uh, fucking the authorities in the in the U.S. of A. But well, también there's a lot of fucking weddles like ex-military dudes. Yeah, también, no. Yeah. Those are called mercenaries, though, right? Yeah, pretty much. Where you following the money? Esos otros güeyes también. They're all mercenaries, way. They're all following the money. They're not. Like the dude, a lot of those dudes are not there for loyalty, way. They're for the fucking plata, way. Mm. Hey, fucking. Going back to the last night, you know how they got all these people, like, uh, because they were cops, los pusieron with uh, certain details, right? And that was your job. Would you be able to do that? What do you mean? Uh, like, you know, specifically? explain because no so, one knows what you're talking about. So, in That's the last night, they're interviewing, I think it's five guys, the main guy, and then, uh, or three. Son se me hace que son tres. Uh-huh. Godoy, Lupe, y Ramon Silva. So they're interviewing them, and they these guys used to be police officers. Oh, los de Mexico, los yeah, Mexicanos. Los de Mexicanos that I still don't know what you're They about. got they got assigned to uh, este el señor Fonseca, el, el tío from Narcos, yeah, okay. and then uh, Caro Quintero, and I think Felis Arellano, maybe. So no, I think it was just uh, Caro Quintero y el tío Fonseca. Fucking they got and they were there. They're cops. They're authorities, but they're protecting these narcos way. They're t- protecting their investment. Yeah, and well. But you got to realize what's going on, Ramon, is, is they talked about it in the documentary. Like, you don't have a fucking choice, bro. I know, exactly. Like, if, even if... But would you quit, though? I mean, quitting is getting killed, getting your family killed. You, you, it's a plata or plomo way. Oh, it's shit. one of those situations. <laughs> yeah. You either fucking play ball and and you become our bodyguards, judiciales de Jalisco way, mm-hmm. or you go against us and we're going to make your life fucking a living hell. I mean, you don't have a, you're making it sound like it was their choice way. Mm. At the, in, in Mexico, I don't think it's really about following the money way. In Mexico, it's about staying fucking alive and having your family not get fucked with. That's, that's why a lot of these guys start fucking around with their cartels is because they don't have a fucking choice, dude. I don't know. I don't know if it, well, maybe a little more, a, a good chunk of it, but I don't think we're fucking, no, like, no, that's not, no. Well, you might I mean, if you're a judicial way and the cartel comes at you, you're gonna you're gonna ask them for a week to think about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like I can thought I had something, but no, he's yeah, right. Way. No, yeah. yeah, if you're hood, like a cop way, what are you gonna do, way? Te pelas y te vas otro estado, way. No, and then you gotta do it right. <laughs> but see, no, like man. that's that's like that guy from El Salvador that was a cop. That guy. They actually interview a dude that was from the, I think it was the New York Police Department, but they silhouette, oh, they put yeah, a silhouette yeah. on his face. No, he was a DEA or FBI, I think it was. And he talks about how that dude from El Salvador 
was giving them intel a la Mara. So he, while that guy was a cop in El Salvador, he was giving the U.S. intel on the Mara. And now he comes here, he becomes a, fl- a plumber. And then they just fucking send this them back. back. Oh, yeah. that's mm-hmm. studio style. Yeah. Yep. Oh, shit. And, and telling them, like, dude, my life is in danger. Like, we always like do shit literally, wrong, like, my life is in danger. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. And now his kids, the, the, kid, the thing is, they los trajo chiquitos a los niños, ¿eh? Tenía dos, un hijo y una hija. Y la esposa se los trajo todos. Like, just one night, they got up their stuff and they came over and they're saying that they traveled uh, por Honduras or Guatemala, yeah, por Honduras, and then they went through Mexico, they cru- eh, cruzaron en Rio Bravo. And everything and the kids grande, are no? Rio Grande. Rio Grande, sorry. Rio Grande. So I think the son is like in his twenties, maybe, because he's uh he was going to school, whatever, and the daughter's in high school. And there was the you know, once the dad's gone, then they're like, fuck, we can't pay for the rent. The kids are like, I'm gonna have to drop out of school, get a job, and sell my car because mm-hmm. we need to make this happen. And they're like, We're not gonna last fucking six months like this. No mama. Yeah. Yeah, we I feel like we always traicionamos a la gente, we oh. In U.S. way, yeah, <laughs> that's the Browns way. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, I was noticing um, the uh, at least in New York, and in, in New York they were like, I guess the the ice was getting not just the the, the Latinos, they were getting like in, like güeros también way, and um, they were pre- getting people like from like South Af- or Africa or Nigeria or Cameroon or all this. They were they were like they don't no nomás miraba Latinos way. No, but I mean that's that's, that's what New happens, York. right? But not even New York, right? I think a lot of people when they when they when they talk about immigration, it's always the go to is son Mexicanos, Latino Americanos, or whatever. Like, Americanos, they don't they, they don't call them all Mexican. They don't right? they don't realize that it's not just that, dude. I mean, there's other countries and people come here as well, and and. Yeah, I think there was some Asians once when I saw that the the, the Asians first one. Asians chingo. Yeah. The, and the thing is, like, lo gacho way is that you have to go to your interview, right? You have to go to the interview. You go there or, or like, a follow-up, depending on if you had your first interview and you get your paperwork and you go back and they have the paperwork. Um, if it's not satisfactory or, like, yeah, you know what? We can't do anything. We're going to have to send you out. And ese mismo momento, way, you, saw, you knew it right away. Cuando se comienzan a poner los guantes, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that guy is getting sent back. Yeah. But it's because you, you, you go in fucking... Like even to the the, the those your hearing way, you go in already losing way. It's almost like they, they they already fucking they already decided way. Cause even remember the the whole pedal with the kids when they're fucking they're talking about the kids. Okay, even little kids don't have the right to have a fucking lawyer way. Yeah. And there's little literally fucking the judge asking the little kid, "Pues qué va a decir little kid way?" What is he going to reply to? He's not going to answer any questions. Oh, and, and they do bring that up about the, the what is it, the immigration justice system? Mm-hmm. How it doesn't fall under the judicial system. Why were mm-hmm. things on purpose, way? Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're, it's set up to fail. So even before you get to your hearing, way, you're already set up to fail, way. Well, it's, 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 it's total, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys heard this, this, this uh, statement, way, like, not everybody watches the same movie, right? Like, if we're all watching a movie... Mm-hmm. We watch the same movie, but we're not really watching the same movie because we get out of it what basically a part of like what we're interested in, right? Like we can all watch that movie and it'll do something different for us. To me, it, it, it honestly made me appreciate like my dad fucking taking that journey, coming over here. And, and, and I know people don't really like to talk about how fucking privileged we are because they feel like we're not. But to me, it made me realize how privileged I am to... To be in this fucking country where I can go anywhere, not get fucked with, people, I don't have to deal with that shit way. So that pushes me to become a better fucking person and make my dad struggle to come over here. Worth it. Worth it. So I can somehow contribute back to my fucking society way. And, and it, it, the thing about it way is like, I've been getting into a lot of like, like finance stuff, like investing and stuff like that. And when you come from like a, a, a being a person of color... We try to find people that we can relate to. Eh? I haven't found anybody on YouTube. And they're probably out there, but the black community, dude, they have so many fucking people on YouTube. They have so many people, entrepreneurs, fucking interviewing other black entrepreneurs, telling them like, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. And, and I watch it because I like what they're saying, but I don't see myself in them. And... I feel like in our culture way, 
I mean, I, I get it, way. Voting is important, right? They say you got to vote, you got to vote. But it's more than just fucking voting, way. That's, that's the... How hard is it to fill out a fucking circle? It's easy. And, and we're willing to just do that and think that that's our contribution. We already did something. When you got these dudes, and I'm not going to put anybody on blast, but you got these dudes just posting shit like this on, on, on Instagram and then, and then that feel like they're contributing to it. They're just spreading the fucking news. They're spreading everything that we have. And yeah, they're using their platform to fucking, to make it more of a widespread fucking, um, you know, just kind of awareness. awareness. But what are they really doing? They're like, I didn't see anybody in this fucking documentary that somebody that has a profile that's, that's Brown, that's color. Um, you know, using their fucking status to, to, to do anything in this realm. I'm not saying that there's not people like that, dude, but what I'm saying is like, you know, I see that, that, that opening way that, that it's really important for us to not just fucking vote and then sign a little fucking dot or not just fucking post a fucking picture. That's easy. Anybody can fucking do that. But what are you really doing? Like, are you really doing something that that's, that's helping your community? Um, or are you just doing something that's easy, like posting something on Instagram or filling out a, a, a circle on a ballot? I mean, I feel like there's way more work that needs to be done in order for for, for our community to kind of, uh, you know, get momentum, dude. Because I'm telling you, dude, I went on YouTube. I can't find any fucking Chicanos talking about making so, entrepreneurship, anything that's positive, really, like that's, that's, that's telling you to have a certain mindset. I mean, I, I didn't find anything, dude. So uh, let me ask you though the on that YouTube and the entrepreneur thing. Do you think that has to do with the shit that we're always talking about that that we don't help each other with? Yeah. Do you think that That's they're holding back with. the information to to like to themselves? Right? I think so, Fernando. But I also think that the black community is always a step ahead of us because they have more history in this country as far as struggles. So we kind of emulate a lot of like how they're we doing things. Yeah, we're following. So we're always behind, dude. But I'm saying, I mean, YouTube is, is, I mean, it's, it's hard to be behind, like behind on YouTube where YouTube, we could be on YouTube, like you're saying, way. So I'm saying, so do you, do you think it, it probably is that shit that, that we try to keep ourselves down way? Like, like there's a dude that knows this information. This is a Chicano that's made. You've mentioned some other dude too, that, that probably has videos on there too. Mm, yeah. Como se llama, yeah. que, que he made a ching of money. But I, like you're saying, I haven't seen a lot of Chicanos or like people that look at like us on there either. So that's what I'm saying. You, you think it goes back to that whole thing way like that. We don't, we try to like hold each other back by holding the information. Like, I don't want to tell you way cause I'm already making mm -hmm. money and I don't want you to take. From I think we have, sorry, Ramon, go ahead. Well, so I think it, I'm thinking that part of it is that, but I mean, and I'm, th I'm, I'm speaking of myself on this one, but I'm sure there's a lot of listeners out there and I don't know about you guys, yeah. but if I see, uh, Paisa or not even not even Paisa, but if I see a Latino there talking about how you can make money and all this, I'm already thinking it's a, st a scam. Me está transeando. Me está transeando. Este güey me va a transear. <laughs> that's, uh, I'm sorry, but that's, that's, the that's uh, the, because, I mean, whenever you saw somebody in a suit in the hood, you're like, ah, oh, este güey me quiere, me quiere transear, güey. Yeah. You know, or whatever it is. Maybe it's, you know, fucking. What's uh, trying to sell me? Yeah, it's like catch. It's the, what's, yeah, the, what's the catch? You're not even listening to what they're saying. You're just thinking about well, what's the catch? What do you want from me? You're you're sizing this person. Exactly. Huh? Could that be part of it? Well, that's what people are also like. Okay, they're not. They're gonna think I'm trying to scam them, or they're, they're gonna think I'm trying to fucking pull a fast one. Or, or? Yeah, I think so, but I think it's what Fernando's saying as well. Is is we have that scarcity mentality that yeah. Uh, and if if you want to be realistic and you want to be honest way, if if we all got into the same business, there's money to be made. All of us can make the money. Yeah. There's no need to, for me to think, oh, I just want to make money and I don't care about you guys. Or I just want to work on myself and I don't care about you guys. I think people realize or people think that there's like the scarcity that, 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 or, or it's like Fernando was saying, it's like, I want to be the only one that's fucking successful. And, and you put, you fill in that blank, whatever you think is success. I mean, it doesn't have to be money. It, it could be yeah. other things. But in our culture way, it's like, I want to be that dude. And then, oh, haters are going to hate. Like, dig, haters? I mean, I get it. Where it sounds cool, haters. But what's a hater? Where it's somebody that wishes they were like you. Somebody that you can be like, hey, bro, like, you can do it too. Don't make them feel like like they can't, Where And I feel like in our community, we don't have that, dude. But it, it's just kind of, it sucks, dude, because, like, when I was trying to find 
I've I've been trying to figure out ways to like change change my relationship with money for a while where because I feel like it's it's very important to 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 get one aspect of your life together and then get something else and then keep working on it. But I, I can't find anybody that looks like me, dude. I can't find anybody. Who am I going to go on? On Famous, you fill in the blank on Instagram and, and try to get inspired by them? How? How are they going to inspire me? Well, yeah, it's always more inspiring when, when someone looks like you. And for That's sure. it. We're for doing sure. an inspirational video on YouTube and how to fucking make money with <laughs> and at the end we're gonna sell you a t-shirt yeah <laughs> just so you know and you gotta buy it within 24 hours of watching the video so it's valid or we don't make another one with <laughs> the actual know. information I mean it's gonna no, no, that's it's, a good point Wayne. it's gonna take years I think it's gonna take years for us to well, get we gotta shift that mindset way no. one one the mindset that we're talking about that, that keep the info to myself y otra the Everybody might not be transiendo te yeah. yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I don't know where it started. I don't know, maybe yeah, with the family. The people transiendo te Yeah, way. fucking, the, even, you know, fucking, you all, how many of us have that friend or no, so, or that family member, or whatever that you're like, hey, cuando viene a hablarte, te viene a pedir dinero because he's, he's, he's te va a transiar, güey. Yeah. You know, so we have that. We, again, we do that to our own fucking selves. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I'm sure there's transas in the black community, in the widow community, in the Asian community, in the Indian community, you know. There's transas everywhere. There's transas everywhere, but the, the, you know, pero si, sí, los güeros do put more things out. Pero también es que no son, algunos te dan el gancho. And, and it goes back to what you said before, bro. Like, if you pay for it, you're accountable for it. Yeah. And because because it's not for free, you, you're paying for this, so you, you're, you're not, you're going to put the effort on it. Um, and, and that's how people is con nosotros. They're like, somos a, a los a lo chilangos, güey. ¿Qué? Ese güey me va a enseñar que ni madres. Yo, ¿para qué pago? Mm -hmm. ¿Para qué pago? ¿Para que me enseñe lo que ya sé? You know, we have that. And then, even you've said it before, because remember for the longest, you, 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 you were hesitant about taking a guitar class. Because mm -hmm. you're like, what for? I already know how to play guitar. I don't yep. fucking... And that's that mentality that we have. We're not open to fucking learn and or even invest in that learning and we don't know how to learn because yeah. there, there's a there's a way of learning way like like we don't if somebody's teaching you something and they're showing you if, if like let's say you find somebody that's i don't know that's doing what you want to do if you want to be a painter and you find somebody that's a painter and and they they're like i'm gonna take you under my wing i'm gonna fucking show you everything that i know people don't know how to be students where like they don't realize that whatever this person tells you do it to the fucking T mm -hmm. and and when you figure out what they're telling you then you make it your own but during the process you're trying to say oh well he's doing like that I'm gonna do it like this because no. I think this is gonna be better and and it's a way of you trying to make it your own but that then you don't know how to learn where you just gotta fucking tell you learn the lesson yet. you gotta you gotta learn exactly what they're telling you don't fucking try to say well I'm gonna do it like this oh this way is better oh my way is more yeah, efficient uh, but why don't we do it like that and it's good to ask questions but then you're taking away from like dude just learn Whatever it is, just learn the way they're telling you. And then when you when you know the rules, then you make it your own if you need to. It's funny that you say that because um, fucking when I was like working in a, in the, in a warehouse, I was uh, working in the audio department. Uh, my boss siempre me decía like, hey, I need you to do it this way. I'm like, fuck it. I, I, I wouldn't question him at the time, but I would do, do it, it so no, like him. Mm -hmm. But then I'll do my own little shortcuts. And then he would come. He's like, what are you doing? Oh, you know, I, I just figured it would be like. Now, start all over. He's all like, yo me encabronaba. He's all like, look, before you do anything, ask me why I'm asking you to do it this way. Yeah. All right. So then I started asking him, hey, wouldn't it be ever if I do like, you know, 10 of them at once? And that way I could just, you know, he's like, no, because you're not. The purpose of it is like every, every connection or every wire that you're doing has a special feature. Mm -hmm. So every one of them, you're going to have to put different components and everything. So I need you to do it one step at a time because it's important. Yeah. Because I already see that you're, you're, you're doing all of them and you're going to mix them up or let's do this, do this. So get this down first. Mm -hmm. Then, then once you have it down where you could do it with your eyes closed, then you'll, you'll start figuring out how you can do it better and faster. But see, that's when I learned about, you know, quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. and, and it was, uh, you know, at first I'll be like, what the fuck? But then, you know, he taught me. And fuck, I, I, I missed that guy, you know. His name was Nick. 
Did you die in past tense? No, I don't know. I, I lost. in the back room or when? No. <laughs> Pero si estaba bien huevudo este cabrón, güey. Ay, güey. Dude, Ay, I guess wey. he got Is that where you get it from? No, I remember <laughs> the warehouse. Dude, he would wear the little shorts right because he was a contractor. Oh, I thought we were wool, like he yeah, no, like, no, 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 no. Like he would stand up to no, the door. No, 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 no. He literally, literally. <laughs> dude, what are you doing looking at his balls, man? Dude, he wore those little shorts. Oh, God, we're. He couldn't. So if you're. You if, did take him in the back room. For example, if we're sitting down, like how we're in the sitting down <laughs> position, if he walks in, you're going to have him right in your eyesight, wait. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, you're like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Ended up being that he had like something inf inflammated, but for years, he fucking capitalized on that. Mm -hmm. Hasta que se operó, güey, o le, le, le bajaron la inflamación. Ay, güey, And then he was just regular him? Nick. No era el huevudo Nick. I thought you were, you were saying, like, ah, este güey would stand up to the union, chingón, where he's a shop steward. Huevudo. <laughs> huevudo. <laughs> no, huevudo, literally. Oh, God, güey. <laughs> yeah, but that is important también because, uh, you know, a lot of these, uh, I guess the younger generation or whatever, or I don't even know, maybe the. Right away. There's a lot of people that are not. Wanting to take or, or listen or, or, or learn, like you're saying. It's a human trait where we, mm -hmm. we, we don't want, we don't like people telling us what to do. And, and it, that's our default when somebody's telling us do it like this while they're talking, we're already like, well, I'm going to do it like that. Yeah. Like we don't even like try it, you know? Mm, okay. Well, Pinchi, I, I, I'm still thinking about the part where we're still talking about the, the haters way. Haters going to hate? The haters going to hate. And I think. Fuck that! That was a, like a good like analogy, way, cause, mm -hmm. cause that dude por decir, say you got a dude that made it, way, yeah, and say he puts out a video, way, mm -hmm. and all he gets is fucking people talking shit, and he fucking yeah, he goes fucking bunch of haters. We have that attitude where instead of fucking just pushing forward, way, mm -hmm. that there's gonna be people that talk shit that we're like, ah, haters gonna hate, yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah, I don't need, I'm not gonna make another video. Yeah. If if it's just gonna be a bunch of haters and we don't push past because we get stuck on the fucking haters, way, yeah. So that was it. I was still thinking about the. the way I know. I, I'm thinking about it too because uh, I think we're on the same path. For yeah, me. the the pinchy haters. Yeah, we're on the same fucking mentality on that one, and I'm all like, mm -hmm. shit. I'm all like, eh, it's it's something to reflect on. I mean, see, yeah, the por si you're you're kind of hesitant to give out your information, and then all you get in return is a bunch of haters. Yeah. Como decimos. Yeah. That that shit doesn't, and then we we live and die by the haters apparently. Right? Yeah, fucking haters. No, no, quiero que me vean bien, you know? Fucking, que, I gotta look good. Queremos caer bien. Yo, like, I'll be honest with you. Yo quiero caer bien. That's my thing. You're, you're a people pleaser, right? Yeah, no, I, but, I am. But I mean, the raza, like, I, I guess we could only talk about, like, the Mexican-American or yeah. Mexican descent. Pero ya ves, güey, o vas a salir así. No, 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 no quiero que la gente piense eso. Mm. Oh, quiere, no, 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 puedo. you can't have tattoos, güey, porque la gente va a pensar eso. It's all about appearances, güey, mm -hmm. once you leave your house. And that, that, that's what I'm saying. It all comes back to that. I think like the haters, oh, fuck, a bunch of haters. No, then I can't, can't do that way. Yeah. It's just different, seeing them a little different way. I mean, people say you're, you're not there until you have haters. Like, I mean, <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I, I get it, way. Like, I, I get it, dude. I get it. It's, it's, it's fun to say I got a bunch of fucking haters. They're, they're bitter, fucking salty ass people. Wow. They want what I have. There's people that think like that way. Oh, I thought they were like, oh, you pinch just that No, no, not me, way. I try not to. I mean, I, I know sometimes I might come across as like having a big ego, but no, nah, I'm really. I, I'm just trying to help people out somehow, way. And I and I and I and the reason that I started focusing on money in the last four or five months is because I came to the realization that it's gonna be the same spiel. It's gonna be the same shit I say, but unfortunately in society you have to have a fucking nice car. You have to have this. You have to have that in order for people to listen to you, way. So I came to the conclusion that. I need to start focusing on that if I want to help people because that's the only way they're going to listen to me. ¿Y cómo le hacen los pinches hippies cebosos apestosos that, that have like big businesses and drive an eco-friendly Volvo that runs on corn oil? ¿Cómo le hacen en what sense? Yeah, you know, like how, how is it that the people listen to them or, or follow them or take the, their advice? They I mean, they're, you, not, they're you, not flashing money. With, I mean, they're, they're driving $100,000 Sprinter vans. I mean, that's, that's flossy no, money. I'm, right? I'm talking about like... Uh, They live in the West Side. That's flossing money. Yeah, but one thing is living there. People don't like. Are you talking like what you're driving or where you're living or what yeah, or what everything? You're everything comes into. I don't it. know if the raza fucking maybe weros fall for that shit, but the raza. I don't yeah. know if it falls for that fucking that uh, yogi fucking shit. Wing. But see, but see, the, the, and then this is what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's a good point that Fernando's saying. In in that in that community, it might be that. They don't they don't value the materialistic stuff as much as we do in our community because in their community, 
maybe it's more of like I like the way that guy thinks. His mental state is what what really is fucking like that's fucking awesome that this guy's not into like this and that like that's inspiring i want to get to that but unfortunately in our community it's not like that in our community you need to show materialistic wealth in order for people to be like and hey, maybe this guy has something good to say maybe i'll listen to him that's that i mean they're gonna judge you you know if, if you're driving fucking whatever you're driving at the moment or if it's not that great or if, if your place is not that nice our community is gonna judge you by that way it- and that's another one. I was talking to a coworker about this. Um, like we, I, I saw we saw a paisa in the suit or something. I'm like, ah, it's like, wait, fucking. Oh, I think he was putting out the the for for sale signs. And then we were like in the Culver City Mar Vista area. So a lot of the houses there are pricey, but I mean, there's a section where like they're it's by the ghetto, it's by the the projects and everything. So what you're saying is still pricey. Yeah, it's expensive out there. <laughs> but the guy that was putting them out, and 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 we brought it up. I'm like, I want to buy a, guy, a house from that guy. Look at what he's driving away. Look at what he's wearing. Yeah, and that that's why real exactly. Estates, that's it, why they have really nice cars. Those yeah. real estates. If you see a person with a fucking uh, uh, a fancy or lu- a luxury car or like a sports car or whatever with a nice suit or even like casual suit or like something like. They could be wearing like jeans, but with a nice jacket that matches or whatever. You take that person more serious and everything. Not only that, but you're you're basing their success rate on what they're wearing and what they're driving and how they carry themselves. A hundred percent. But you know where the 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 opposite of that is in the in, in the in the community in the raza <laughs> is if a dude comes gives you a quote for for some fucking remodel work at your house and he trae una nueva Chevy, you're like. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's yeah. got to have the old beat up Toyota little yeah. truck. Way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. See, this guy, este well, cobra mejor. Why porque. are we so complicated, <laughs> dude? Why are we so complicated? Because you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Instead so of way- saying this dude must do good jale. Yeah. Because yeah. he must get a lot of work to have a new truck. Yep. We're like, no, no, este güey no, cobra. Yeah. No, este güey te va a cobrar hasta yeah. los, los, los pinches anquines. <laughs> no, yeah, you that, want, that's, a, that's a really good point. You want to do the old beat up truck because that guy doesn't charge he barely charges enough to make it well <laughs> that's okay i mean that's what it is way <laughs> just culeros somos tan reversados, we? But i think everybody's like that way i mean to the I point where, where, where you um where i said to the point where you like think like that but uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, one one time way just to give you a little <laughs> anecdote to go with this because i remember i let the photo and i was going to show you guys and i think i forgot it was I think it was somewhere like in South Pasadena or something. That it doesn't really matter, right? But there was like a contractor dude like finishing up like a project, and his work truck was like a classic truck way, mm. like a classic truck with uh-huh. the fuck like an old Chevy, like the, ¿cómo se llama? The the the, the one before yours, like the more bubbly one. The like, step side, uh, the like a step side, but the bubbly one. The, yeah. The, the front end's a little more fucking. ¿cómo se, I don't remember the name. It's like a fifties. Yeah, it was like a fifties, late fifties, algo, right? So. That was his work truck. He had like a rack on it. He had his tools in there. And he was finishing up this highway. And the truck, even for, for the work truck, it was a little drop. He had like rines. That was his work truck. Way. You can tell his work truck. The toolbox the toolbox in the bed. And fucking right away, I took a photo. I go, a, a, a fucking raza would never hire this dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. too expensive. And I go, if, he, if that's his work truck way, what's his everyday driveway? Yeah. His fucking, what's his weekend car way? Yep. And, and I was like, hasta le tomé la foto because it was a chingón truck way. And I was like, fuck way, Rasa would never have hired this dude way. But obviously he has a chingo Holly way because that's some nice cars way. Está, está cabrón way. Um, it's, I mean, they'll t- everybody will tell you this way. If, if you want to achieve something, find the person that's already there and, Dissect them instead of if they let of, themselves get dissected, dude. You are you kidding me? Where you, uh, mo- a lot if of, I walk up to, well, I mean, tiene que ver like my intentions and if, the, if but see, you're already is, assuming, yeah. so that that's already that's what that's why people some people don't get anywhere. Where now I'm not saying you, but that mentality is like, oh well, he's he's gonna say no or no, she's no, gonna no. say no. Now, I, I, I was kind of going there, but at the same time, it's like let's just say. All right, with us. I'm, I'm going to take it a perfect example. Let's just say like... Um, perfect right away. Yeah, because somos los tres, right? Oh, right away. So si alguien nos viene y nos dice, hey, how is it that, you know, I want to make videos like you guys. I want to do the fucking... Not even the podcast, but let's just say the videos or whatever. I want to go under your wing and everything. Well, first we'll be like, okay, well, wait a minute. What, what's what's your, your drive or what is your interest? Because we don't want to waste our time. Um, 
sí, you know, showing this or do, doing this para que al rato nomás te des cuenta que like, nah, this isn't for me, it's too much work. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of it has to do también, like if you go up to somebody, you ask them, hey, um, when you see someone that lost weight, you're like, hey man, so what did you do to lose weight? And then you start telling like, yeah, no, nah, I don't know if I could do that. I'm like, then why the fuck are you asking me? Well, you think there's a magic pill? You think mm-hmm. there's a there's a fucking a prayer that you have to do a chat una tonica la noche and then you know miraculously no way está cabrón and I I was one of those guys and so you run into that that guy or girl years later and you're like hey I just lose weight and they shove you off you can be like, what a fucking asshole but then you realize like well this guy probably had a bunch of people that he really or she really wanted to fucking inspire and they never did shit so then you start being like well. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking waste my time. But, but see, I haters mean, gonna hate, homie. No, it's it's just, <laughs> I mean, it's just people ask stupid questions, way. Yeah, I think that's what I, it is. If you if you ask somebody something that Google can tell you in a second, I mean, yeah, what are you doing, dude? Like, you have to. If somebody fucking, if if somebody, if I'm like, let's say I'm playing guitar and 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 I've been doing it for a long time, and I feel like that's one of the only things that I consider myself like being really good at it because I spend a lot of time with it and if somebody comes up to me and tells me like asking me all the stuff that they they can get on Google I'm not gonna be interested way because what have you done like you want somebody to hold your hand through the whole process Mm -hmm. If, if you want me to spend my time to tell you something then by the time you talk to me you better have already done something or already took the initiative on your own that you just need little guidance to because if you're starting from point a and you want me to hold your hand? I'm not gonna do that. That's a waste of my fucking time. More specific questions, no? Like, yeah, like okay, what have you done? Oh, well, nothing. Okay, well then, you know, like and that and that's what I'm saying. It's like you can't just. Uh, is I think, it? No, I'm just <laughs> no, no, no. What I was saying is like you know, if someone walks up to you and tells you and does is like, are you really gonna let them know? Or they're gonna think you're an asshole. But at the same time, it's that valid point. Like, what are you doing to get to this point? Are you asking me out of curiosity? Are you asking me because you're serious? And if you are serious, what research have you done? Well, no, nothing. I was asking you. Start doing some research. Start getting into it. Start figuring it out. Once you're ready and this is what you want to do, then come talk to me. Yeah. That would be the perfect thing, right? Because if you start giving your stuff, and now I understand why uh, Tony Robbins charges $10,000 a class Mm, per person. Because you want to be there and you're not going to waste his time. Mm. You know, he's going to teach you. He's going to give you the tools. Not yeah. going to teach you. He's going to give you the tools for you to make your life better. Yeah. But the only way it's going to work is if you implement them and if you take invested. the advice. Yes. If, and that's really important what he said. If you're invested, if Tony Robbins does that for free, then people aren't going to get their shit together. Mm-hmm. If you're 10 grand in, you're going to be like, shit, I just fucking, I just sold my car for this. This has to fucking work. So you're already coming with, invested, a, with yeah. a different mentality. And I feel like if if you get to the point where you're, This is another thing that we should take into consideration. If you get to the point where you're already at a Tony Robbins event where you spend 10 grand, you've already done work. You're not coming from, oh, I want to change my life. Oh, let me spend 10 grand. No, you've already done work. So by the time you get to the 10 grand Tony Robbins arena, Mm -hmm. then you've already done some work and you know that I want to take this to the next level. So I need something like this. You already watched all the YouTube videos. Everything. You already failed. You read books. You already fucking did this or that. And... It's just different, dude, but I mean, I don't think people should... Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking haters. And man. then you tell somebody, hey, dude, show me how you did that. And you tell them something and then they don't do it because they think, oh, that's too much work. Yeah. And then it's like, well, I mean... It's almost I mean, like, I mean, I, I think I, I, I'm at the point where like, I'm not really... Uh, you know, where like when people ask you for advice and you really go into death and you tell them and they're like, yeah, all right, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, motherfucker, really? Well, some people just want to vent. They don't want to change yeah. their lives, dude. Not like, well, how did you do it? Or like, what do you suggest? Or mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, well, look, this is my, my, my two cents type of deal. Like, mm-hmm. hey, you can try this, try that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe they're just expecting you to fucking uh, say you got a lap band win. No, <laughs> the easy route. Uh. <laughs> no, no, but I'll start Frankie. I'll come up Frankie. You know, if I can. Uh, but see, like, like, always go wrong. No, yeah, man. they go wrong. Like. But see, Ramon, something like losing weight. I mean, what kind of question is that? I mean, I, I feel like if you're if you're an adult, I mean, you haven't been living under a rock. You know exactly what you need to do to mm-hmm. lose weight. There's no science to that. I mean, why why are you like asking somebody how to lose weight? You know the answers. 
Like, you know what you need to do to lose weight. L- losing weight is hard, though, Wayne. It's not easy. And, and I think, yeah. The, what do you I, think I, is the hardest part about losing weight? The, the willpower, way. The willpower, for sure, mm-hmm. way. Because, I mean, even, even sometimes you start it, way and you lose the willpower or you hit that plateau and a lot of people lose, lose the, the, the incentive because they see they drop a bunch of pounds and then they haven't dropped anything for weeks or very or little. Months. He, and it, it hurts the willpower way. So you have to like push past that. So I think for sure the willpower, but I'm saying it, it losing weight is so complicated. Get, get some more. Like what you guys are saying, if you're going to ask someone about this, you should at least have the, the fundamentals now. No, like, like you said, Google did. Oh, well, what's keto? Oh, shit. Oh, da, da, da. Hmm. oh I know a dude that, that, that can give me a little bit more info on keto. Yeah. Now that I looked it up, well, let me ask Ramon. But you already go because you're interested in that, no? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But maybe like once he says all that, they could go, well, oh, well fucking keto is not going to work for me. And then it could be either that or it could be they just didn't really want it to begin with, you know? Yeah. Because losing weight is the wrong way. Ya voy para el año, güey. That's, that's, that's. Que comencé. Yeah. That, ya that, voy para el año. That's, that's more along the lines of that you changed your life way than you were just on a diet, pues. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like like losing weight is hard. It's one of the hardest things that uh, a lot of people are going to go through. <laughs> but I feel I feel like I feel like some of it is because they they I don't think they're doing it the right way. Where I feel like you have to get you have to first address the issue. Like if you're not aware that there's an issue, you're not you're not going to change. And and what I'm saying is like being aware is not just. I need to lose weight. Being aware is why did I why did I get here? Why did I use food to suppress certain feelings? Like that's when you have awareness. And I feel like people don't do that. They want that bandit. They want they want to take care of a problem from ground zero. They don't want to open the curtains and say, "Okay, how did I, why did I get here?" Okay, well let's let's go let, wait for that. Don't worry about the weight right now. Don't worry about exercising. Don't worry about eating better. Let's take it back. Why why did you get there? Let's go over here cuz cuz haters are going to hate, homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but you're saying go back to the root of the problem, no? Like yeah. the psychology of It's the, an addiction. Some, but some yeah. of it but some of it I mean, could be a um like a medical condition or like you know, hormonal or whatever. It can, but the yeah. majority of people The majority is just, just bad just, fucking you're, habits. You're, you're, it's just something. I let's 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 be yeah. honest with it. Depression, like, anxiety, I mean, it could be is, anger, it could be just, you know, Self-esteem issues, for sure. We, but I mean, a lot of it. I mean, because it has. This is a, like a multifaceted thing. But a, like, like I keep saying, way. I mean, in this country, especially, we're brought up learning bad eating habits. Way, mm-hmm. and even the food that we do eat that we think is healthy is not as healthy as it is. Way, you know. So it's it's because it's because I mean, oh no, it's a really like it's 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 a situation where there's different. Yeah, things that come together there, there's a lot of nuances but i feel like something that doesn't get discussed is is that that mental aspect of it it's like okay let, let's deal with why that happened dude because you see we're, we're we're looking at the problem from the outside i want to lose weight from the outside and 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 not everybody obviously does this but a lot of people don't take care of it from the inside because i mean that's what that's what it is where you, once once you take care of the inside everything else just kind of falls in place it's like oh shit well this is how this fucking works like if i if i do this if i whatever i'm doing is not helping so let me figure out another angle okay maybe let's go in through the the psychology of why i'm like that and then if that's a completely new angle for you then then once you go that route then you start realizing like oh shit okay i feel better oh shit no i oh fuck i have money now oh shit like i i found a partner oh shit i found love oh shit and it's because you're working from within out, not from the outside in, you know. And not everybody, of course, way, but if if you've done something that's not working, I mean, you have to see it a different way. Where there's, it's impossible to fucking expect a different result with the same thing every fucking day, you know. Simon, just a cabrón, man. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm distracted over here. Pero qué te va a decir? Changing the subject. Have you guys ever gone dumpster, dumpster diving? Um, like a, a freegan? A freegan? Yeah, fuck? we talked about the freegan before. Fuck, Ramon, it's like Ramon's not here. With him. What's yeah. a freegan? The people that, that, that get food from the, the trash cans oh, and cook well, it. No, no, not really. Oh, no, not the food one. 
The reason I bring it up, the other day, compa, my compa Ramiro and I were working in this in this uh, alley, in this alley in Santa Monica way, and I guess uh, they were clear, and it was one of those apartment units that they have a uh, like a like a management office. So they were clearing out the the apartment, and they started throwing things into the trash. I see a lo bravo way, and we saw it. I'm like, oh shit, it looks pretty cool. I'm like, oh fuck, and that's a nice lamp. And eso que llega un señor like in a walker way. Like, well, it's not even a walker. It's got that little seat, the little bench, whatever it is. And he starts going through the trash. And he gets this little fucking, it looks like a, like a toy safe. But it's not a hardcore safe, but it's got a little combination on it. And he opens it up, way. He fucking found a Confederate bill in there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. A Confederate bill. And he found a, a, a ticket book to Disneyland. Like Multiple back ones. in the days, they had the the E ride, the A ride, the B rides. Mm-hmm. Like what you know, they had the ticket Tickets. stubs. Yeah. Like what the fuck, dude? Right there, that's easily fucking unos tres mil tres mil lanas right there. Shit. Just like that, I'm all like fucking it. And I saw when they when they were throwing the when so the guy was throwing the trash way. out. I'm all like, no, that's, that's a, the exception, no, not the rule, though. No, no, but it's just like, but he, and then we started because he started showing it to us, and I'm all like, fucking, que yo iba a ser otro cabrón. I'm all like, you know what, old man, you don't need this bill, yanks, <laughs> taking it, but I'm not like that. My my uncle buys uh, furniture from this dude in uh, in San Diego that he buys furniture and then he crosses it like to the other the uh, Patijuana y los vende and they got into talking t- with the employees and they told them that. Everything that he sells these people, he gets it from the streets when they're throwing shit out. So yeah. he has like five or six trucks that trash day go out and, and all the little muebles, all the little shit, they load it up in the truck. And then that's what he sells. I'm making a shit ton of money, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I believe you. That's what he sells, los revendedores de, 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 de Tijuana and the people that, that, that sell, I guess, around there or whatever. But he's making a killing, bro. He fixes them, right? No, no? just the way he fucking finds them. The way yeah. he finds them. Whatever he finds, if if he thinks that he can resell it, that's that's how he sells them. Where, and so there's really no no way of keeping inventory. So, like the raza is fucking hey wait, well let me forty the loy. Like he doesn't have an inventory, so yeah. they're making money off of like the trash. The trash, yeah, it's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, I talked about it once where where I fucking I saw I did like a little I think YouTube fucking sent me a little rabbit hole. About like the metal collecting, like mm-hmm. from the trash, oh, yeah, 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 the yeah. pinchy batteries, and yeah. and which ones you should strip and which ones you shouldn't strip, yeah, yeah, yeah. and what what like uh, things you can find that you can open up and take out the metals that are worth shit. Shit, Fernie's stealing some catalytic converters <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, they just stole one at work. I was about to get a sawzall. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking. expensive, dude. Yeah, they just stole one from our one of our bucket trucks. No shit, yeah. a catalytic converter. Yeah, the fucking copa jumps in, turns on, he's like, whoa, 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 <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> and then they look, and yeah, sure. Two clean cuts, way. Oh, no, shit. clean cuts. Yeah, clean yeah, cuts. They, 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 the salsa. Oh, shit. And one of the hands, I think you're a trap, way. So I think they might have used it to fucking uh, diminish the noise. Oh, shit. You know, le pusieron un trapo, I guess, around the pipe. Oh, shit. Para que no se diera cuenta where it like, happened. Like, cuando le pones tape a la madera, yeah. way, to fucking get the... So it wants to split around? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. so I'm like, what the fuck? We know, way. Shit, there's mad at going on at work, and I think it's going to get... I, I think it is because there's a lot of people without work. There's a lot of people it's not going zone. back. And I think now they're, they're starting to resort to fucking either stealing shit or fucking coming up <laughs> well, on easy They're going back to the pickings. old school shit. Yeah. Well, the catalytic converters. Well, in the other recession way, they're, they're cutting chunks of cable, remember? Oh, That's yeah. True, yeah. And yeah. copper pipes. Yeah. yeah. So From houses weird. or like if there was a house shit that was It's hard, vacant, bro. You, you do what you got to do. Because haters going to hate. Haters going to hate. And so shit. Wrap it up, boy. All right. Well, fuck it. Uh, just want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for dealing with our pendejadas leave us a review iTunes anywhere right for me because we got asked about that it doesn't matter but iTunes is the one that counts I mean we appreciate well they all count right? they all count no but I mean as far as stats no mames way right away stats <laughs> no way stats they all count Ramon stats we're getting them bad info haters gonna hate bro <laughs> fucking Ramon is the hater that's hating haters gonna hate way. right away the only one that counts is iTunes Haters leave it anywhere, but we only <laughs> appreciate it. I don't iTunes. know if Spotify lets you to rate us. Let, no, I don't think it let, does. Let me drink some hater tears right here. Some hater hate. <laughs> <yeah, wait. laughs> That's a lot of hater tears you got there, bro. Shit's not easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's because mo- most people listen on uh, 
I don't know the Apple but like podcast way. Mm-hmm. It's where the, it's the biggest still. So. Okay, that that's where your view review would actually probably get seen was the most. And if not, all, just they all count. Yeah, yeah, they all count definitely. We love them, the good ones, the bad ones, the meh ones. You know, we we, we you know send them in, send them to our send you know, them in. Wait, this, no, I mean, send the them mail's in. not working right now. Oh, I know, it's <laughs> otro pedo. Got defunded, bro. Oh my Everything. god, <laughs> go shop on Amazon, make them more rich. I know, because the mail, <laughs> the USPS is sucking balls right now. Yeah, fucking. What is it like a month for a, a priority package? They're, they're getting the fun, the fucking uh, sabotage. But that's another episode. That's another episode. So let us know, que pedo, you know, if you enjoy it. If not, you know, whatever it is, you it, got it that part down. Yeah. Next. Um, anything else? No, nothing for you, Esteban. Nothing for you, Fernie. No. Nope. No. All right. Well, just thank you and. A ratos with that, eh? Don't Peace. hate the don't hate the fucking player, dog. Hate the game. <laughs> <laughs> Haters gonna <getting the> hate. <laughs> Al ratos with that, eh?